from la from last year to this year in, in pass blocking and just yeah. kind of getting on the same page with the yeah, O-line? Yeah, I think uh, I've been a lot more verbal. Um, I think that's a big part of the game that last year I kind of, I wasn't as confident to do, I, I would say. But I think now being uh, being around the guys more and just you know, being a, uh, you know, older, getting, getting more used to the game, I think I became more verbal, and, you know, in communication, over communicating, you know, calling out blitzes, calling out, you know, what I see. And I think that's allowed me to um, step my game up in the past, bro. I mean, Leek's a great athlete. You're a great athlete. How do you like look at like what he brings to the table? Uh, I think Leek is a, a later athlete. I mean, the things he does, you can't really coach him. I mean, he's slippery, and I think that's a great part of our offense that you know he can bring to the table. Uh, we got a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things, and I feel like if we just keep making each other better, I mean, we're gonna be a tough match for the spot. What do you see like when you're out here? Oh, hey, these holes are getting open. Yeah. Like maybe in a way that we didn't have like yeah. a year ago. Yeah, and, uh, I like to uh, I like to say that the O line is a lot more in sync, and a lot of the guys are a lot more. I, I like to say a lot more like they're advanced. Like a lot of the O line we have are advanced. Um, their communication as well, and it's up to us to you know hit those holes and deliver those backers. So I think this the chemistry between us is growing and growing. I think it's gonna keep getting better. Kaisen, what is what does your body feel like now that you become more of a workhorse on the offense and just you know just taking that next step for you? You know, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling better than I ever felt. Uh, I gained a couple pounds, um, maintained the same speed. Hopefully, get faster here. Um, but I'm feeling great. Um, um, I stepped up my game and been more physical. And that aspect I've been trying to you know bring to this spring. And I think just it's, I still been like you know, feeling good even though I've been going more physical. Lowering my shoulder, lowering my pad level, so I think my body's in a great condition right now. To piggyback off that, I know like you were saying, kind of a, a crowded backfield, but do you kind of subscribe to the adage that that less is more because you guys might you might not obviously you want the ball, but you might be on the field maybe not as much, but it's, it can lead to more explosive yeah. uh, plays because you guys will be fresh. Yeah, and, and and that's a big part of what Coach Gano you know speaks to us. I mean, fresh legs will get we try, we trying to you know. Roll a, a rotation of backs, and I think fresh legs is better for our offense. I mean, of course, I mean it's going to be situations where you know guys will have to be that workhorse, uh, you know those ground me downs or whatever. But I think fresh legs is, a, is a, a benefit for all the backs we have in our room. Is that something that you experienced this week as the offense had a just a, a better overall, you know, running periods yeah. this week, if you will? Is that something that you experienced? Yeah, and I think you can see uh, you can see it in our practices. I mean. Every every back we had have had has had explosive plays, and that's all a part of being able to rotate in and out backs. I mean, and I think the chemistry that we have with each other, we we all take care of each other, and we all know that you know fresh legs is going to be better for us. Now I talk about again about the successful week you guys had on the ground. How much credit do you give to your offensive line, like you were kind of talking about earlier? But can you expand on that? Just the the difference you've seen last year to this year. Yeah, I mean, I'll give all the credit to the O line. I mean, those guys are working hard in the trenches, and they really take care of us. They're they're getting those holes open, and it's our job to be patient, you know, and hit those holes in where we see them. But I think that, that it's a huge it's a huge transition from last season and what I uh, what I experienced to now. I think a lot of those guys are. A lot of the guys on our line are more leaders, and they all step up in tremendous ways, and I appreciate those guys. The game ne doesn't necessarily slow down for anyone, but has it slowed down for you a little bit yeah. now that you've been able to have those those better practices where there's there's bodies to be to be played? Yeah, so I've learned to, you know, although the game is faster, I've learned to slow it down in my own way, and I think that's allowed me to become more comfortable in the run game, and I think that's allowed me to become more comfortable with my own line. I think I've showed it. So far this morning. So in order for it to slow down, great question by the way. I've been asking everybody. I know you guys play a lot of Madden competition. Who is the best Madden player on the team in your eyes? You're looking at you, him. You can tell me. You're looking at him. Everybody on the team knows it. Coach Dilly knows it for sure. Uh, Mason Williams feels it's him though. Mason Williams. Mason Williams. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't played. I'm not gonna say okay. he's not, but I haven't played a lot of the guys on the team. Okay. And I have played a lot of guys on the team. Okay. And my record is pretty clean versus right. everybody I played. Fair enough.